Jason Stan with TechSideline.com here with the newest Virginia Tech Hokie commit, Mr. Braylon Moore. And Braylon, you know, I guess I know it's been a few days now, but like what what all went into your decision, man? Like why why did you pick Virginia Tech? How, how did you how did you find out Virginia Tech was a spot for you? Well, um, I kind of I kind of knew off off the beginning that uh, Virginia Tech was for me. I just kind of I kind of wanted to wait just to get more offers and like try to build my stars. But like I knew Virginia Tech from the start was um, was meant for me. But um, my brother was telling me like they didn't know if they have a ton of spots like they, that I could wait along for. So I was just like, all right, let me let me just commit. Let me just because I, I knew it was right for me. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, when you and I talked in January, you had two offers, and you got what, like, fourteen offers, I think now. Yeah, like, fourteen. I know you've had a lot of them come in. So, like, did that make it any tougher? Or did that that make it any any more difficult making that decision? Like having all those options now that you didn't have before. Uh, some of the schools, yeah, because um, I built a, like a, a connection with some of the coaches. They were real cool, um, but I don't think any of them were as like up there as Virginia Tech was for me. So um, you mentioned your brother. I know Caden obviously being there. I, I know you, you told me before, I know that helps. But, like, I guess what does that mean for you now to be able to, you know, you, you're going to be able to play with him. Like, what does that mean to, to go and, and play with your brother? Uh, it means a lot. I played uh, my, when he was a senior, I played with him. Um, it was one of the funniest years I ever played playing football. Um, so get, getting to run it back for a second time, second or third time or fourth time, <laughs> would, uh, it's, it's everything. So, yeah, I look forward to it. Do you know about the history with Virginia Tech and, like, brothers and family members? Like, I know a lot of places have it, but Virginia Tech is like – it's like one brother commits and all the other brothers go on. You've got the yeah. Edmonds, the Fullers, like, the Hopkins. There's a long line of them. Like, mm -hmm. did you know about that, I guess, before you uh, before you committed? Yeah, I, I hopped on one of the Zooms, I think the strength Zoom, and they were talking about, like, I think it was – they had 38 brothers or 38 groups, or something like that. So, yeah, I knew about it. Okay. Um. Since your brother has already been through this process, I, I kind of asked you a little bit about it in January. But, like, since your brother has been through this process, he's been where you are now, has he given you any kind of advice or, like, helped you in the process of getting to making that commitment? Um, I think me and my brother were at two different, um, like, positions in recruiting. My brother was recruited, like, a lot heavily. I mean, not – not as much heavily, but, like, later in the process. Like, I got my offers as a junior. He got his offers, like, kind of as a senior like senior year. So, like, it was kind of different yeah, in a way. And Coach Vice is the main one who's been recruiting, right? Yeah. What, what has that relationship been like with him? Like, what – how much did Coach Vice factor in your, in, into your decision? Uh, in fact, in a lot, we call, we used to call like every, every couple of days. Um, he's just a real good dude. He's real funny. He's, he's a good person to talk to. He's easy to talk to, but on the football side, he's a great coach. You know, he's put a lot of people in the NFL and the people that are in the NFL are doing good things. You know, I think he has a, the, the Browns guard is like the number one guard in the NFL right now. And um, uh, Darryl saw is he's a predicted first round pick. So what he's doing, it, it's working. And I want to be a part of that. And you and I are talking about – so you actually – I had this in the article from January again. But, like, you went to a game last fall. You know, you yeah. Obviously, not many people got to go to a Virginia Tech game last fall. Mm -hmm. Did that help, you know, getting to go like that? I, I think it did. Um, in the long run, it did. Um, I didn't get to go to any other games. So, going to the game, watching – my brother was actually hurt that game, so he, like, sat in the sidelines with us. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, in the stands with us. <laughs> but it was it was just a real cool experience. I wish I was there with, when the fans were there and everyone was jumping around, the music's playing, but uh, it was still a cool experience. So you haven't been there for, like, the regular, like, pre-COVID experience. Okay. No. Hopefully you can get to that this year. We'll see. I don't know. Yeah. It's a lot up in there. Um, fingers crossed. I know, man. Fingers crossed that we get to that. Well, um, so you know – I mean, obviously, know where you're headed. Like, what what did Coach Vice tell you about 
uh, Braylon, like, how does he see you fitting in on that offensive line? He sees me as a – he really likes my um, – my athleticism and smartness. So he thinks like I could be a guard or I'm a, he wants me to be a center with like a, a possibility to be a guard, but mostly center. Cause I'm not the toss. I'm like just about six. Like I am six three, but like not like above six three. I'm like right on the six three. So like, yeah, he wanted me to be a center and kind of like lead the um, offensive line. That's what centers do. You got to call it everything. You got to make sure protections are right, everything. Well, your hair gives you a couple inches there too, right? Like, are you, you mashing it down a bit? <laughs> you get at least yeah. an inch or two off your hair. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, like, again, so so you so you know, I mean, you're going to be an interior guy, and it sounds like that suits you. Mm-hmm. What what do you need? What do you feel like you need to be doing? You know, over your senior year and this summer, like, what do you need to do to be able to get to to get ready to be able to go when you get there? Uh, I think I just need to keep my schedule. Um, I do really good with the workouts and uh, training, but I think uh, I could do more on like snapping. I could pack the snapping. I was I was a, a center as a freshman, so I kind of already have uh, experience with it. But uh, getting ready to go to Virginia Tech, I should probably like work on my uh, center skills and snapping, you know, blocking and everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, any plans to get to Virginia Tech anytime soon? I'm actually going up soon. Uh, my brother's birthday is uh, in like two weeks, so uh, we're all family's gonna drive up there, see him. So you'll get to see it a little bit. I mean, because it's, I, it's it's a little different, I think, now than even probably in the fall when you're there. Things are, things are opening up a little bit now. But mm-hmm. um, I guess, Braylon, last couple of questions here. Do you do you have any hidden talents or anything that we need to know about, or we don't know about that maybe? <laughs> Um, like like Harrison can juggle. I don't know if you talked to him. He's the other, you know, the guy just the other co- new recent commitment. Yeah, I've texted with him back and forth. But um, okay, hidden talents, man, or just yeah. something maybe people don't know about you. You have a hobby or it doesn't have to be a hidden talent. I'm not saying you got to juggle like he does, but anything. Like, what's something that people don't know about Braylon Moore? Uh, I was something that's that's funny is uh, I played like quarterback, running back all the way up to uh, my middle school years. Yeah, so I, I was I was used to like scoring touchdowns. Yeah, I was like uh, I played one forties as a as a um, sixth grader, and I was like one forty on the dot playing quarterback. Like it, it wasn't. So you were like Cam Newton out there, huh? You just like move. You just like push it forward. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> yeah, but um, I was used to scoring touchdowns and throwing throwing touchdowns, and, and then the next year I'm on the offensive line trying to block people. So I'm like, what is this? But and I hmm. kind of grew it and. Uh, I found a love for it. So maybe – so don't be surprised if you come in report as an extra lineman out on the side and you may have like a little like – <laughs> on the goal line, a little dump pass. Yeah. little <laughs> yeah, <I can laughs> find you in the end zone, good. wide open. Okay. So you'd have the hands to bring it in, right? Absolutely. Okay. See, that's – it's going to pay off. It's going to pay off. So I, so I can say when I see it happen, like you told me so right here, be ready yeah. for it. I'm not going to be surprised when it does happen. All right, any any words to the Hokies fans or anything to, you want to you want to tell Hokie Nation? I'm just excited to be a part of the family. I can't wait to get there. All right, well we're excited. I know I know they're excited to have you. I'm excited to you know I'm I'm always excited anytime anybody finds a spot where they want to go. That's it's a big deal, and um, I think it should be. I mean, it should, it should be definitely. So hopefully, did you did you celebrate? I hope. When you committed? Oh uh, yeah, we went. We went out to eat. Okay. Hopefully, not. You did more than like Burger King or something, right? Like it was. Like, <laughs> yeah, we did. Okay. Yeah, we went, went like round of Whoppers for everybody. Like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Well, he's the newest Virginia Tech commitment, Mr. Braylon Moore. Braylon, thanks for joining me. Uh, Thank you. Check for back on TechSideline.com. But yeah, Braylon, thanks, man. Thank you for having me.